This is a short explanation of how Solo Contuti works on an iPhone or an Android phone. The demo you're about to see is actually on an iPhone, but it works exactly the same on an Android device. When you first start up the app, you'll see a welcome screen and the wizard, which will help you set up a few things and do a few measurements to make sure you can use Solo Contuti on your device. So we click on the uh, next button and here is a name that you can enter and the name is the name that we displayed to other players in the session so that I can identify you. So let's just put my name in here. And the other item that can be filled in is an email address. Now you don't have to fill this in, but it's useful. And we will use this email only for contacting you if you report a problem. So let's put that in and we have an email entered. The next panel is a test uh, to see if the microphone and the um, speaker are actually working. So let's try this. We'll see a little meter, so you can see the meter moving as I talk. That's good, it means the microphone's working. You see there's only a left because we only have one mono microphone on this particular device. And we can test it and you should hear a beep. It's a bit quiet, uh, but that's a sound to show that it's working. So this is a basic test to see if uh, your setup is okay. Now the next thing you can do is actually look at uh, changing the frame size for the app. The lower the frame size, the lower the latency, but you should check that the frame size can actually produce a sound without crackling because then uh, the frame size is too low. So you can play around with the frame size. This is 128 and that's working fine. Let's see if we can make it smaller. And that's not a problem, so we can keep the frame size down to its minimum 64. And this goes up to 512, but 64 is obviously the best latency. Now, the next thing to do is to actually check that um, your uh, sound device latency is okay. And we do this, uh, and you can probably do this without the headphones. It probably works better without the headphones. Otherwise, you need to make sure the headphone microphone uh, is close to the headphone itself so you can do the test. Um, doesn't really matter. I'm using it without a headphone. In general, you should use Solo Contuti with a headphone, but for this test, it's not necessary. So we hit measure and it produces a sound, which is measured. And then we can see on this particular device, it's 34 milliseconds, which is high. Um, you can probably play okay with this sort of delay if your network is okay. And there's some more technical information uh, which is given about it. And the final part of the wizard is to check your network connectivity. So let's go through to that, start test. The first part of the test is to check if you're able to connect with Solo Contuti users, that's okay. Uh, and the second part is to test the network reliability and the network delay or latency. Now the reliability is very good, 100%. And the measured network delay is average 40 milliseconds that's actually fairly okay uh, in some cases if you're a long way from our central server in europe it won't be able to measure the latency so you should see the latency when you actually make a net connection at the a later point right that's the end of the um, uh, wizard and what you see we have some basic controls we have your input and you can change the volume of the input with this uh, control um, then you can actually monitor. Monitor means that you can actually monitor your input through your headphones um, as it's coming through Solo Contuti. Uh, boost, some devices have a very quiet microphone. You can actually add, I think it's five decibels boost by pressing this button. Uh, if you're using a plugin, this will allow you to monitor the plugin, but the plugin is the content of a separate video. So I'll leave that at the moment. Uh, and we have a synchronized metronome. You can choose a metronome speed and Everybody in the session will have a metronome that's actually synchronized. This is useful if you're not actually quite sure uh, what the latency is and you want to actually synchronize each other uh, across the network. Then you start the metronome and you'll all have a synchronized metronome. What we have over here, uh, occasionally there's information that's uh, passed on from the central server. And there's a Solo Contuti news page, which if there's anything to tell will be displayed once when you start up the app. Now let's just look at a few uh, simple uh, things here. We have mute. So pressing this will mute all inputs, which means nobody else can actually hear uh, your inputs. Record will record what's ever coming in. Uh, we'll come to record later because there's a few options there. And when you stop, it'll tell you we have this here. Uh, you can actually uh, access that through the Files app. 
uh, on the device or through the recording menu which will come through and video obviously as you can start the video link uh, the video link uh, is actually not really meant as a replacement for zoom or something like that but is more uh, to allow you to have lessons where a teacher can actually see their student uh, and the student can see demos from the teacher. Uh, the reason is that the audio can be made very low latency, but the video cannot be made to that low level of latency. So that's why we say it's really meant for, for lessons. Um, these are the two functions which uh, concern the session. So we have start, uh, and then we have here, you will contact the server and you'll get a code which you can send to other people and when other people enter this code they will enter the session and this is copied to the clipboard so you can actually go to whatsapp or something and paste it into a whatsapp message and send it to your whatsapp group um, if you uh, are sent a code you can join the session by clicking on join entering the code that's been sent to you so you can enter the session code here which i'll just put in And we can join the session. And there we see uh, another user, and we can see the latency. The latency being displayed is not just the network latency, but it's a combination of the latency of the network and the buffering. And we have your basic volume controls where you can control everybody, the volume of everybody in the session. And you can also pan the signal in your stereo field uh, left and right. And occasionally, sometimes things go wrong and sound sounds a bit strange. You can hit this button to reset the link and it will reset the link. So that's the basic functionality for uh, using uh, Silicon Tutti in a session. And of course, you could have up to five of these other people in a session for a total of six people in a session. So let's stop this and we'll move over to some of the options. Uh, the first option is preferences. And here again, we can modify the frame rate. We can also choose a different audio sampling rate. Now, 48 kilohertz is recommended, but you may have some reason for wanting to use a different audio sampling rate, and this provides you the opportunity. Uh, compression ratio. Um, this tells you how much it's compressed the signal to other people. So at the moment, we're doing a standard times five. If you have decent bandwidth, you can actually use a times three. This tells you how much bandwidth it requires. And then we have the recording mode. Uh, the recording mode needs a little bit of explanation. Uh, when you are in a session, obviously nothing is perfect, so you'll get glitches in the audio uh, because of network problems. Uh, Solo Contruity does its best to, to smooth out these glitches and does quite a good job of it. Nonetheless, you will have glitches. So if you make a recording, it's not going to be studio quality if you're recording all the tracks that are coming in. So what you can do is you can choose record local high quality and everybody else in the session can do this. Uh, and when you do this, it will actually record directly your input in the highest possible quality on your device. And if you play the session live, and then everybody sends their local recordings, you have a high quality recording, which then can be remixed at a later date to make a high quality recording of the whole session, which has actually been recorded in real time over the internet. Uh, and of course, you can change these at some point. The next function is recordings. This allows you to look at the recordings you've made, play them, delete them, and send them. So, for example, this is an old one. Let me get rid of this. Don't want it anymore. And this one, this is a recording I made earlier as a demo. And that will just loop if you want to. So, again, you can play this. You can also send this somewhere. Uh, for further processing, as is normal on uh, a phone. Uh, and that's how the recordings page works. Uh, the other options, we you can redo the wizard if you want to. Uh, the tuning and the statistics I won't mention here because it's quite complicated. Uh, and there are separate uh, videos explaining this. Uh, help uh, is self-explanatory. That takes you to the website with the help information. And report problem is very useful. If you actually uh, want to report a problem, you can report it by this way because it allows you to explain the problem. But much more importantly, it gathers data about um, your device and what you've been doing with Silicon Tutti. And if you're having a problem in a session, it's best to report the problem while the session is still active because it will then send a sample of the data in the session so that we can analyze and find out what's going wrong. So I'm going to cancel this, and really, that's all I wanted to say.